If you're reading this, it's likely because you're at your wit's end. You've been watching too many scary movies. Or maybe you've read few too many creepypastas. Or perhaps you've just been left alone with your own thoughts for far too long. You kept hearing suspicious noises. You're not sure, but you think that shadow in the corner just moved. And or you just feel a presence other than your own and you've become uneasy. At this point, you just want to know. You want to know for absolutely sure. Is there something in your house? Should you be worried about it? What's going to happen if you succumb to your desire to close your eyes and go to sleep? Well, you've come to the right place. If you really want to know, I will now delegate to you the first of many methods. This ritual is designed to detect the activity of the supernatural, demonic, and or worse. Here is what you'll need. A staircase, preferably one with 12 or 14 stairs, excluding the landings. But you can do it with up to 16. It's highly inadvisable that you use a staircase with 17 or more stairs or a staircase with 11 or less stairs. A small portable fan. It's suggested one that runs on battery. If you have one, you can use a small fire puffer as an alternative. A cup of water, a handful of dirt, a candle. Make sure it's one that does not burn out easily and something to light it with. A picture of your house or whatever stood in the place of your house from as far as back as you can get. A picture of your house as it is now. A pair of dice. Two watches or small clocks, preferably analog, but if you have it digital, it will be fine. A food offering. It must be an animal product. A mirror. A handful of ash. A few dust bunnies. A buck or another living thing easily overpowered. Something from your body. A toe, fingernail, lock of hair, saliva, blood, tooth, etc salt, a weapon, preferably one made of silver. To begin, you will want to prepare your stairs. You must be aware of the exact time you begin this ritual, and you must begin during the afternoon, as the entire ritual must be completed during p.m. hours. If you have 12 or 13 stairs, you will start by standing on the bottom landing. If you have more, then stand on the bottom stair and place the first item on the next stair. From here recite, It is from here once forth I shall commence. On the first stair, place a small fan, but don't turn it off. If you are using a fire puffer, fill it up with air and don't puff it out. Place it on the stair instead of a fan. As you do recite, Here is the air that mortal breathes. On the second stair, place a glass of water. As you do, recite. Here is the water that mortal drinks. On the third stair, place a handful of dirt. Try to spread it out as wide as you can. As you do, recite. Here is the earth on which mortal stands. On, your, on the fourth stair, place the candle, but don't light it. Leave whatever you are intending to light it with next to the candle. And as you do, recite. Here is the fire that burns mortal's hands. On the fifth stair, place a picture of your house from the past. As you do recite, here is the time that has come to pass. On the sixth stair, place a picture of your house that is now and roll the dice beside it. Pray that it does not come up with a high number. As you do recite, here is the present and the die are cast. On the seventh stair, place one of your watches. As you do recite, here comes the future, the time takes by now. On the eighth stair, place your food offering, as you do recite. Here is the offering for the devil's mouth. On the ninth stair, place the mirror, as you do recite. Here is my image, in God's likeliness I trust. No, do this regardless of whatever your religion is. You must recite the line as it is phrased without any superstition, hesitance, or reservations. On the tenth stair, place the ashes and the dust bunnies. As you do recite, here is mortality, ashes and dust. 
On the eleventh stair, place your bug. Make sure it cannot get away. It must be alive. As you do, recite. Here is the life I present unto thee. On the twelfth and final stair, place a thing from your body. As you do, recite. And here is the essence extracted from me. Step on the top landing, or on the final stair, and turn around. Draw a line of salt across the edge of the stair when landing, and recite simply, "No further than here." Leave your items overnight. On this night, you should not notice any suspicious or concerning activity. If you do, abort the ritual by putting a circle of salt around each item and around your bed, as well as anyone else's bed in your house. Leave them for the night, and then remove the items the following morning. You must completely obliterate them all. If you do not notice anything suspicious or concerning, and are able to get a good night's sleep without any nightmares or waking up until daybreak, the ritual is officially in effect, and whenever you wish to, you may complete it. It will remain in effect as long as all of the items remain on the stairs. However, none of the items should be allowed to fall from their stair or to overlap another stair. Do not allow the salt, dirt, or ashes and dust to spill over onto another stair. If you must, keep them in a container of some sort. The water was, must remain open to the op air, and do not leave anything besides these items on the stairs. In performing this ritual, you have banished any supernatural or demonic beings in your house from your first floor. They must get past the twelve curses you have set on the stairs before they can get you. Believe me when I say, if they didn't already despise you. They will now refrain from making any unnecessary trips up and down your stairs after sundown. This weakens the curse. Depending on, on how strong your supernatural or demonic beings are, these curses might not hold more than a couple nights. As soon as you start to notice even the most subtle, peculiar activity, immediately consider completing this ritual. It cannot be reinforced by repeating it. If you sleep on the first floor, do the ritual backwards, starting from the top of the stairs instead of the bottom. All the same rules apply. If you don't have stairs in your house, you can do it in a long hallway. However, all the divisions must be seen. You can mark them with tape, salt, pencils, or a piece of wood. A long one. As well as it's all good as long as you can see the twelve intervals. Do not do this in a room. Do not perform it outside. Do not perform it in any small or enclosed space, such as a car, even if you can pull it. To complete this ritual, it is advisable that you evacuate everyone else from your house. Have them say it a night at a hotel or something. You must do this alone. Stand in the exact place where you recite it. This is from here. Once forth, I shall commence. At exactly the same time, when you originally recited this line, when you initiated the ritual, make sure you have your weapon in hand. You must stand there for the first hour. You must not move or be moved. Your feet must remain planted in place. As soon as the first hour ends, step onto the stair with the fan. Turn it on as quickly as possible and let it run across the stair. If you use a puffer, puff out the air that was inside it. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the second hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the second hour ends, step onto the stair with a cup of water. Leave the fan running, or make sure there is no air in the puffer. Drink the entire glass of water as quickly as possible. Do not move from that stair for the entirety of the third hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the third hour ends, step onto the stair with the dirt. Your feet must both be within the pile of dirt that you threw on the stair. If you put the dirt in a container, dump it onto the stair as wide as possible to give yourself more space to stand on. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the fourth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. 
As soon as the fourth hour ends, step onto the stair with a candle on it and light it. You may stand beside it or hold it up against your face. Make sure it does not go out. Do not move from that stair for the entirety of the fifth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, look behind you. As soon as the fifth hour ends, step onto the stair with a picture from long ago. Without turning around, you must use the candle from the last stair to burn the picture. Don't blow up the flame until the picture has been turned into ash, or at least you cannot tell what the picture is anymore. Do not move from that stair for the entirety of the sixth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the sixth hour ends, step onto the stair with a picture of the present day. You must, you must rip this picture in as many times as the dice indicated without letting it fall apart. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the seventh hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the seventh hour ends, step onto the stair with a watch or small clock. You must turn the clock forward as many times as the number on the dice. Do not turn back to achieve the same number. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the eighth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, look behind you. As soon as the eighth hour ends, step onto the stair with the blood off, with the food offering. It may have been there for a few days, so hopefully it hasn't gone bad. You must take a bite of it and swallow. You must eat it as it is delicious, even if it is disgusting. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the ninth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the ninth hour ends, step onto the stair with the mirror. Look into the mirror and look only at your face. Do not try to use the mirror to look behind you. No matter what you see in the mirror, you must not look away. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the tenth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the tenth hour ends, smash the mirror on and step onto the stairs with the ashes and dust. You must place a drop of blood onto them. It must be your blood and it must be fresh. Do not move from that stair till the entirety of the eleventh hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around you or look behind you. As soon as the eleventh hour ends, step onto the stairs with the bug. Kill the bug. Do not move from that stair for the entirety of the twelfth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs. Do not, under any circumstances, turn around or look behind you. As soon as the twelfth hour ends, step onto the stair with the thing for in your body. You must swallow it whole. You must not wash it down with anything. Do not move from the stair for the entirety of the thirteenth hour. Stand facing the top of the stairs and do not, under any circumstances, look behind you or turn around. As soon as the thirteenth and final hour ends, step onto the place where you recited no further than here. Make sure you have your weapon in hand. Turn around and brace yourself.